From January 1st, 2024, the UK Home Office has decided not to allow international students to bring in their dependents when coming in to study. This is a new law and it has changed the entire precedent of application for visa when it comes to the UK. What is this new law and how does it affect you if you're already in the UK or if you are just planning to apply for a visa this coming 2024? In this video, I'm going to explain a bit about that. My name is Susanna. Welcome to my channel. Two years ago, three years ago, things were booming when it comes to traveling to the UK to study especially from my country, Nigeria. I was one of those people who also traveled from Nigeria to the UK to, well, I was a dependent. <laughs> I was dependent, but my, my husband was on a study visa and he was able to bring me along because of the law that accepted, you know, students bringing in their dependents to study. But now everything is changing. The UK Home Office just brought a new law saying that from January 2024, international students in the UK will no longer be able to bring in dependents on their student visa unless they are studying a postgraduate research program. So this changes everything. Right before two years ago, people could bring in their dependents regardless of the course they were studying. But I guess with the new immigration law, I think things going on with their economy, they decided to change their minds. So what does this mean for you if you're already in the UK right now studying? It means that if your dependents are with you right now, the law doesn't apply to you. But if your dependents are not with you and you're planning to bring them in this coming year, I'm not sure that will be possible any longer unless they've already been given the visa. Wow, that is... <laughs> That is different and that is going to be because most people are applying to come and study in a different country with the hope that they'll be able to bring in their families. Would they change this law? Would they change this rule anytime from now? Nobody knows. That's the thing about immigration law. They bring in, they churn out new rules, new laws every now and then. You have to be prepared no matter what. And it sucks really because most of the time people don't really know what to expect. Now, I don't know what made them change their mind. Frankly, I don't care. But what I care about is how it's going to affect people who are already in the UK or who are planning to come into the UK in 2024. There are a few questions that might be on your mind like, can I extend my student dependent visa after January 2024? Well, yes. But this only applies to people who are already in the country. Yes, you can apply to extend your dependent visa for as long as your visa is valid. Now, for those who are already in the country, they're done with their studies and they are planning to switch from a study visa to a post-study work visa. What, what does this mean for their dependents? They're already with them. Right now, the law says that your partner and children will be able to apply for a dependent visa to remain with you in the UK. This is only possible if your partner and children have been living with you in the UK as a dependent while you have been studying. So this means that if, you're already, if they're already with you, fine. But if you were planning to bring them in in the coming year, no. So... <sighs> It's, the, <laughs> it's it's very scary to think about this because most people I think most people I know were planning to bring in their family after they were done with study so that they'll be able to you know get a job that can afford the new mouth they are going to feed but now things are different they're saying that you cannot bring in anybody new you can only bring you can only apply for your post study work visa with your dependents if they're already in the country with you now what if you're a dependent your wife or your husband or somebody's studying and you're hoping to switch your own dependent visa into a work visa is it still possible or has new law changed that for you well yes you can still switch but there are some rules that there are some requirements that that you must be able to meet such as you must have an offer of an eligible job from an employer from the uk with his sponsor license. You must have an offer of an eligible job from an employer with a UK sponsor license. You must also meet the minimum salary requirements as at the time of writing, which is 26,200 pounds per year, which roughly estimates to 10 pounds 25 per hour. 
and you must be able to meet the language english language requirements for example being able to read to write and to speak and understand english to a level to a level b1 well so those are the three rules and hopefully most people will be able to meet that but i'm still glad that if you if it is possible for a dependent to be able to switch their visa to a work visa and it has nothing to do with them being still attached to their partner now, which brings me back to the title of this video why people are leaving the uk especially nigerians these rules are getting people spooked because nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow they might change their minds again and what happens if they cannot meet the rules the reason why most people are leaving the country is because they were you know they were able to bring in their families with them but now that they've changed the rules that says they cannot bring in their families what is to say that they might change their mind again anything can change even right now with your dependents in the uk they might change their mind and say that you guys should leave or when you are trying to ch change your visa into a work permit visa your dependent may not be able to stay again these laws are unpredictable and that's why most people are looking for a plan b now what are the plan b's the plan b's might be that you if you cannot find a job that can give you this um what people call sponsorship which means that they can be able to they can be able to help you convert or switch your study visa into um a work visa on time before another rule changes again maybe it is time to look into other countries it is not a surprise that people find it easy to be able to apply to other countries apply for a visa to other countries outside of nigeria it's just the way it is for now hopefully things will get better but from my own experience when i was applying to come to canada as a student i applied from the uk and the experience was totally different for me because i guess there are lesser traffic compared to you traveling compared to you applying from nigeria so if you have the opportunity to start looking for other options while you are seeing the uk if you decide to change your mind and want to leave yeah i would suggest you start doing that while your visa still remains valid things like applying for a pr to canada might be a good chance especially if you are going to be switching from your study visa to your work visa if you can prove that you have work experience you can combine the ones in nigeria and the ones in you know in the uk good luck if you can do that and you can apply for a pr i think that would be a good match or you can also apply for a work visa in canada from the uk this might seem all confusing but if you have any questions please leave a comment please leave your questions in the comment section i will reply to them as possible as soon as possible and i wish you the best of luck while navigating these new laws it is crazy it is it is scary because visa <laughs> having a valid visa it's like a ticking bomb you have to always be on your toes looking for new opportunities to be able to extend it or to be able to get to move out and get new opportunities it is it is it is not your fault that you don't understand these new rules they are not they are not designed to favor everybody at the same time so ask questions check check with their websites i think you can email them or call them as well and you know talk to people while you still can and get the information that you need and thank you so much for watching i don't want to make this video too long like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Please, if you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Susanna. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.